that uh, my, my calling is to listening and sitting and going. That is not from God. No. You need to do and act according to the word of God. Next day when I come back to the church, I want to see that, you know, I, I don't know how Pastor Vijay and Surekha does. I want to give a list of people. How many people you want to bring to the Lord. Let us be practical. Let us be practical. How many people you want to bring to the Lord within six months? Do you know somebody? Write their names and pray. Be specific about them. Don't just wait. You know, in, in India, we used to have Burma. You know, Burma means the, there is a gun. Sir, you know that gun, Burma gun in India? You don't know. There are always, there are some, what is the Charan Lemon? Charan. Charan. Small, small things, you know, small, small things, you know. And uh, this guy, you know, when they have a, when there is all, uh, you know, what, uh, um, birds are around on a tree, this guy has got all these small, small, you know, what do you call that? Pellet. Pellet. Ah, pellet. Not even pellet. Even smaller than pellet. Small, round, round things. Uh, stones, stones. Not, not, I mean, iron stones. Not uh, stones. Iron things. Iron, uh, pellets. Pellets means have a little bigger ones. Small ones. Eh? Pellets. Okay. Now we all accepted that they are pellets. <laughs> so now we, I continue my preaching. Sister, thank you so much. Pellets. We agree upon it. The pellets. These pellets, this guy, because he doesn't have any, nothing to shoot, uh, because the pellets will spread like this. And he used to keep that, you know, when the birds are there, one, one click, uh, and the, the pellets go spread like, you know, maybe one or two will fall. That is called a general pellet ministry. Don't do that. Don't do general pellet ministry. It should be specific. You take the names. You they never say that some people pray like this when they go to their closet. Father God, thank you so much for all that you have done in my life. You are selfish. No, just you are like thank God for go for others also. You know, thanks Lord for the nation of Canada. Lord, I pray for Canada. Uh, save all the people that. So you are covered Canada. <laughs> in one word. Then you go on the next step. Lord, save all the people in the world. Then one sentence, you covered the entire world also. Bless each and every Christian, Lord. You covered all the Christians in one word. And they said, Lord, I am done, Lord. Because I have nothing to share. Go to work, Lord. Struggle there. That is not the way. Be specific. Be specific about your prayers, Lord, I want to see that my mother-in-law should repent properly, Lord. <laughs> my mother-in-law should be repented in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Give her a great heart, Lord. Great heart. You know, that she should never shout at me at any given time. Man. Is that the right prayer? No. You should pray, Lord, give me a heart to love my mother-in-law. Give me a heart to love my mother in law. See, I want to see that happen. Be specific in your prayers. Take a list of the people whom you are connected to and say that I want to bring these many people to the church within six months of time. Give a list and let us be specific and practical about our gospel, preaching the gospel. Not like going to somebody. That is, that is okay. That is a general thing. But be specific about your you know, you are, you are functioning in the body of Christ. That makes a great difference. Some people will come and tell them. Suppose some sonny goes to, I went to my college, you know, I just shared gospel to one of my friends who was in drugs. Possibilities there. And he gave his life to the Lord. Wow, what a testimony. One word, because not your word. His word, his act can change anybody for that matter, beloved. And then, once his testimony, then another guy will come. Oh, when I shared the gospel, when I touched somebody, for they said, pray for my sickness, instant healing took place. They came to the church. It's not just pastor and pastor, you know, pastors and few leaders. It is the activity of the body. It is the activity of the body of Christ. Let me tell you, you know, God gave the body a greater authority, beloved. A greater authority. That's why let them rule.
Jesus, God said, let them rule the delegated authority. In Psalm 38, 2 says, you know, you have magnified your word beyond your name. What does it mean? You know, that means uh, when God speaks, uh, as long as he doesn't speak, he's a sovereign God. When he speaks, he's born by his word. Many people say, God spoke to me last night, God spoke to me yesterday, God spoke to me the other day. That's fine, I have no contradiction. But when God speaks, uh, it happens. Don't take it for a chance. Your presumption cannot be God speaking to you. God's word has got power. It will never come void until it accomplishes the word or the task which it has been, which it has been spoken for. So God said, I let them rule a delegated authority. God has given to you and me the body. The spirit. When God created man, man, let us create man. What does it mean? Let us create ish. Ish means spirit. And covered by the body. So this body is so important uh, to exercise the delegated authority to the world. Don't think that this body is waste. It's not waste. It's very important for us. Well, this body, it's a bad master and a good servant. It's a bad master. When you allow the body to rule you, very bad master. When you, when you ask to, to serve you, it's a great servant for you. It will take you to places wherever you want to take. Her. So then, when Jesus went, uh, went to the cross of Calvary, went to Hades, picked up all the authority keys and everything, when he went back, they will thought, uh, Jesus Christ, uh, now you went to heaven. Where is your body now? Where is the body? Now you have become spirit again. Glorious body. Now, now you cannot function because the rule what you have set, set for this word, let them rule. A spirit in the body should rule. But Jesus said, hey devil, when I was here, I was having only one hand, one, two, two hands, two legs. But now, I have thousands of hands, millions of hands, millions of legs. Everybody is, a, is part of my body. I am the head of their body. I am the, he is the head, not pastor. Don't think that pastor is the head of the body. You are mistaken thoroughly. Christ is the head of the body. And the growth comes from your head. Authority comes from head. Power comes from head. If you are connected to Jesus, you are connected to your God-given leader. You can flow the anointing. Because anointing never comes from the shoulder. It comes from the head. It comes from your leader. If you, once you are, if you are, if you are come under the authority of the leadership, then you can exercise that anointing. You know, the authority with anointing. You know. That is the body of Christ. So this morning, I want to encourage you I don't know what's the time left. It takes some break. And break. So that's what I just want to encourage you this morning. That you know, we as a body of Christ, we need to work. We need to work. And not only we need to work, we need to make a difference to our life and our ministry. When people come in inside, they are just coming to see the body of Christ, which is relational, attached to one another. And you know, in, you know, enjoying the love together. What people see when they come inside, first of all, you know, I, I have noticed that they see all of you. They see all of you. You know, suppose if I'm uh, Vijay is the new guy, I said, Hello, sir, what's your good name, sir? I'm 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 more I'm asking more. I'm so oh thank you, sir. God bless you. You are at the right place. And suppose Sunny comes. Oh, sir, what's your name, Vijay? He said, Oh, this church is very good church, sir. Very loving church. And they see how we react to each other. How we react to each other. If I come to church like <laughs> if you look at somebody and watch the Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> well you don't like him. But I like Sunny. Hey Sunny, how are you, man? That guy will be watching you. The way you behave with Akhil. 
and we'll be able to, oh, there is some fast chanting. This church is not what I'm expecting. Simple things. One day, Bishop, and I, have, I know a Bishop, I think you have Philip Moss and uh, Sureka Vigeno, Bishop of uh, Bethel, Darlington Johnson. He was a great man of God, a wonderful speaker. He has got a big church of 3,000. I go and preach there whenever there is a time. And he's told the church once, he said, you know what he said? Uh, he was in a mall and there was one lady came to him and said, Bishop, oh, he said, hello, Bishop. Ah, hi, how are you? He said, oh, thank you, Bishop. I like your teachings, Bishop. You are a wonderful person and all. So I'm coming to church or a part of church? No, Bishop. No. He said, what man? Because, uh, you know, you are a great man of God. You are wonderful. I know you. But uh, once when I was going to the toilet, you know, there were two women. They were just quarreling like any other worldly people. They are shouting at each other, ending at each other. They were no good. Then I thought, this church is not my church. Where there is no love. Where, where church has to be founded on the love, on the relationships. Uh, loving one another. Uh, you know, touching the lives of one another. You are no, there is no discrimination because of your color, creed, you know, you are rich or poor, it doesn't matter. You know, when I, in my church, when I go there back home, I, uh, people come to me, even uh, small people, big people, anybody, they are allowed to come to me, educated, uneducated. There is one lady, uh, Sam, Samuel's mother, you know, Philip, that's a Samuel's mother. So she comes, she is not at all, she doesn't, she is totally illiterate. She comes to me, he says, son, how are you? She comes, son, how are you? Even when I'm on 10 people talking to, she doesn't bother. She comes to me, son, how are you? You know what I do? I give her the best of the time. Amen. She needs the best time than all these 10 people. Yeah. So I said, mama, how are you? Do you have the snack? How is your health going on? What's the matter with you? And she says, beta, manchuguna beta. She comes and tells me, beta, that word was so good. I said, wow, if you understood my word, I'm the best speaker. <laughs> because she is, you know, that's what, uh, your relationship with people makes a big difference. You know? That's what I want to encourage you. This church has got a great potential. A great potential. This can grow into thousands. How many of you believe that? I'm not making a pep talk. I'm not. God forbid that. Here are your pastors and great people of God. And they have great passion. They are totally sold out to God. And if you cooperate with them, if you stand with them, if you are, if you are one with them, this church can be a lighthouse in Canada. Lighthouse in Canada. Hallelujah. I wish my prayer that when people come inside, even without being prayed for, they should be healed in the name of Jesus. When people come here, they should say that we have seen the angelic movement in this church. Something special, life-changing atmosphere. The presence of God is here, beloved. You need not even counsel them. The moment they come inside, the demons will run away from them. They will be totally delivered and healed in the name of Jesus. I am not telling you a story. This is reality what has happened with us. We have seen that happen. I have seen that happen. That's what I want to tell you this morning. Let us get to the call of God in our lives as a body of Christ. We are no mean to anybody, beloved, because Christ is our head. The one, every name has to bow down before him. Every tongue shall confess before him. And we are a part of that great name and great head, beloved. So we can exercise that authority in the name of Jesus Christ. You as a church every day, every morning, you should as a church exercise the authority. This land shall be saved in the name of Jesus. This land shall see the revival of God. It starts with you committing yourself for, for the cause of gospel. Beloved. Let your life be a, a, absolutely a gospel to the people. Let your ministry be a blessing to the people. Shall we stand in his presence? Sir? Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, hallelujah, Lord, there is a great uh, anointing in this place, Lord God. I could see the tremendous presence in this place, Lord. Lord, I pray, Lord God, 
this church, Lord God, has got such a great protection, Lord God, that if they take up this cause serious, Lord God, nothing shall stand against them, Lord God. The gates of Hades shall not stand against them, Lord God. And Lord God, if they release uh, the souls, the souls will come running to the church, Lord God. They, they bind the activity of the devil. The devil cannot uh, move further, my God. Uh, hallelujah. Let the activities of the devil be bound in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God. I just release that anointing upon this dear ones, Lord God. Let them receive this higher calling on their lives. Let them realize, Lord God, what protection they have. And the world changing potential, Lord God. Making world upside down potential, Lord God. They receive that anointing, dear one. Let there be a greater anointing in the days to come. The church will grow in, 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 in multitudes. Uh, not only this place, many places there will be a great awakening coming up in all the churches of Canada. Lord, we want to see Lord God, every church be filled with the people, Lord God. Every area, Lord God. We pray for Bishop, Lord. We pray for Dr. Austin. We pray for Pastor Philip, Lord. Let there be a greater awakening through them, Lord God. In Canada, Lord. Vijay and Sureka, Lord God. Together, they can make a big difference in this city of Toronto, Lord God. Every church, Lord God, be filled with the people. Every church, Lord God, will be and will be filled with the presence of God, Lord God. Miracle signs and wonders. Lord, may this word bear fruit in the lives of these precious dear ones, Lord. We give you glory and honor. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.